Hey Izzy, picture this. You wake up tomorrow and every single human has vanished. <sighs> Boom, gone. No good morning texts, no traffic jams, no Karen yelling at Starbucks. <sighs> Just silence. That's not silence. That's the earth saying, finally. <laughs> like Walter White putting on that black hat, nature goes full Heisenberg overnight. So the planet goes from breaking bad to breaking free? Hey, 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 it's Izzy and Buzzy. Learning is cool and weird stuff's a plus. We dive deep and laugh out loud. Science and fun, we're super proud. Izzy's got brains and Baz is bold. Every episode is pure gold. So click subscribe and come along. Join the crew, you can't go wrong. Let's break it down Heisenberg style. What happens if humans suddenly disappear? Within hours, coal and gas power plants shut down almost immediately. No one's there to keep the fuel flowing. Hydroelectric dams keep running for months or even years, since water keeps flowing without human input. Some nuclear plants stay online for a short time with automatic systems. But within days to weeks, backup diesel for cooling runs out. That means potential local meltdowns, dangerous hotspots, not a planet-wide apocalypse. Within days, domestic pets realize nobody's coming back. Large dogs form packs, small breeds mostly struggle. Cats? Some adapt quickly thanks to hunting instincts, but many still depend on humans, so survival is mixed. Within weeks, <clears throat> nature begins cracking through the concrete. Weeds burst through sidewalks. Without maintenance, subways flood as pumps stop working. Cities like New York or London start looking more like Jumanji. Within months to years, wildlife spreads fast. Coyotes, deer, wild boars, and foxes take over suburbs. In North America, bears and wolves reclaim territory. Birds, especially pigeons and crows, thrive in cities. Climate impact. Air pollution like smog clears in days to weeks, so skies turn bright blue quickly. But carbon dioxide in the atmosphere remains for centuries. The climate doesn't reset overnight. It's a slow process. Basically, Earth deletes humans the way you uninstall Candy Crush. <laughs> after wasting $500 on power-ups. Hmm. Now let's flip the scenario. What if, instead of humans vanishing, insects disappeared? Without ants, soil health collapses over time. Ants aerate the ground, recycle organic matter, and spread seeds. Farms and forests become weaker without them. Without cockroaches and flies, Gross? Sure. But they're nature's cleanup crew, eating decaying material. They're also food for birds, reptiles, and small mammals. Remove them, and food chains break down. Without bees, disaster. Bees pollinate roughly one-third of the food humans eat. Fruits, vegetables, nuts, coffee. Without bees, global agriculture takes a massive hit. So, if humans vanish, Earth throws a victory party. But if ants vanish, Earth goes full Walter White meltdown? <laughs> exactly. Ants are Jesse Pinkman. Underrated, but without him, the whole empire falls apart. And cockroaches? They're Skylar. Annoying, but if you remove them, the story collapses. And bees? Bees are Gus Fring. Calm, efficient, running the empire. Take them out, boom, everything collapses. Imagine this, humans vanish. <laughs> Nature binge watches itself. Las Vegas, reclaimed by desert sands. Jackpot, cactus edition. <laughs> Hollywood, the sign wrapped in vines. No Marvel phase 27, thank God. Walmart, 
coyotes and raccoons fighting in aisle seven over Doritos. But insects gone? That's chaos. No ants equals weaker soil and slower recycling of waste. Garbage piles up, ecosystems stall. No cockroaches equals reptiles and birds starve. Like canceling Netflix and Hulu in the same week. No bees equals no coffee, no almonds, no avocados. Millions of Americans caffeine-free at 6 a.m.? Society collapses faster than Blockbuster. Without humans, Earth heals. Like Thanos' snap, but this time he actually did us a favor. Without insects, Earth doesn't heal. It unravels. <laughs> it's breaking bad. But instead of Walter White building an empire, it's nature losing its supporting cast. <sighs> Bottom line. Humans disappearing makes Earth cleaner. But losing insects unravels the ecosystem. So the real villains? Not ants, not cockroaches, not even bees. It's us. We're the cartel. <sighs> Great. So we're the bad guys. Nature is Heisenberg and ants are Jesse Pinkman. <laughs> Yo, Mr. White, I think I just became pro-ant. And hey guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, and drop a comment before you vanish.